The other day, I remembered something from my childhood that I always wanted to build, but I never actually got around to doing it. A potato cannon. The only time that I ever got to see a potato cannon in action was when I was with my older brother and some of his friends. But, of course, me being the younger brother, I never actually got to shoot it. So today, I'm going to make my own potato cannon, I'm going to show you guys how to do it, and then we're going to see how far we can launch these potatoes. Let's go! Making a potato cannon is actually really easy. All you need are a few pieces of PVC pipe, some PVC glue, and an igniter from a grill. I'll make sure to detail all the different pieces of PVC pipe that you're going to need, but essentially, it's about 16 inches of 4 inch PVC, about 4 feet of 2 inch PVC, and then just the adapters to shrink it down from the 4 inch to the 2 inch, as well as the cap for the end. The easiest part of this whole project is probably gluing it all together. All we have to do is take the non-threaded side, glue it onto this, take this fitting, glue it onto there, and then we have the reducer down to the 2 inch, and that's just going to be glued into this piece. And then we'll take our 2 inch piece, glue it inside of this bushing, and that will be our barrel. Then all that's left to do is drill a hole in the combustion chamber, which is going to be the bigger 4 inch piece, install the ignition switch, and let it dry. So I have all my pieces of PVC glued together. All I have to do now is give it about 24 hours to dry. Uh, what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to drill a hole inside of this combustion chamber of the 4 inch PVC. I'm going to install the ignition switch. This is really the only part of the project that's a little bit more difficult to deal with just because you're dealing with positive and negative terminals. But overall it's still pretty simple. One more thing that I did want to mention is make sure that once you install your ignition switch you're not clicking it down a whole bunch of times while the glue is still wet. The glue that we use for this PVC is pretty combustible, so if you're clicking this down and that glue is still wet, those fumes could ignite. And we want to make sure that that PVC glue dries as much as possible before we start using it. That way our cannon lasts a lot longer. So what I did for the ignition system is I straightened out this little clamp here and I ran the negative wire into where this bolt goes and this just attaches on the other side with a wing nut and then this is going to be your positive terminal obviously your negative terminal and then the switch runs just like that and we'll have this switch sitting up here on the outside we'll tape that down in just a second and get it all situated right and then on the inside you can see that wing nut and then the very end of that negative terminal then when you click the button you can see the spark so on the end of this, what we're going to do, this is going to be the barrel and where the potato is going to go in and come out. So we're going to shave this down so it will cut the potato as we shove it down the pipe. We're just going to use a razor blade to do that. So we have the tapered end here. This is going to make it a lot easier to put the potatoes in and get a good seal around it. Last thing I did was down here at the ignition switch. So there's the wiring inside of there and then the ignition switch there. Just put that on there to protect it a little bit, protect the wiring. That way it doesn't get pulled around while you're shooting it. So what I'm gonna do is just add some more electrical tape down this way. You wanna make sure that you use electrical tape just because electrical tape is not conductive. Okay, so I have the ignition switch installed. All I have to do now is give it about 24 hours for all the glue to dry around the PVC, and then we can start shooting. We'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back, it has been 24 hours, and it's time to test this potato cannon out. So we have our potatoes, our potato cannon. Let's go find an open field and see what this thing can do. So real quickly, the way that a potato cannon works is kind of similar to this bullet. So with a bullet, you have the actual bullet itself, the casing, and then on the end, you have a primer. So in a gun, there's a striker that hits the primer on the back, which ignites the gunpowder inside, which builds the pressure behind the bullet, and that pushes the bullet out of the chamber and wherever you're aiming it. Similarly with the potato gun, we have our igniting fluid, which is just hairspray. We're going to screw the cap on the back here. It's going to plug it up. The potato is going to be sitting in here, which is essentially the bullet. And then basically the source of ignition is going to be the grill igniter. So what's going to happen is we're going to push the potato all the way down into the barrel, spray the hairspray in, screw the cap on, and then we'll spark it. And that's going to build the pressure inside this chamber. And then it's just going to launch the potato out. Let's try it out. Potato.
I know you probably can't tell how far this is just by seeing it on video, but there's the potato launcher, and the potato launched clear out to where that second tree is that I'm zooming in on. I was not expecting that potato to go that far. This thing freaking launches at least 100 yards. I gotta do another one. Potato. So even though it took me a few tries to get that to go, it was actually a blast shooting it. The only thing that I want to mention is if you guys are going to do this, make sure you do it safe and you're doing it with an adult. That way nobody gets hurt, everything's safe and fun and we have a good time. On my way back, I found these concrete barriers. What would it look like to shoot the potato cannon at one of those barriers? Let's try it. All right, that was totally worth it. Thanks a ton for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss any of the future videos. What did you guys think of the potato cannon? Seemed like a good idea? Let me know in the comments down below. We'll see you around.